the laws of the Akashic field. What is the Akashic field altogether? We would think that laws of nature, particular laws of the universe, what, what concern is that of us? Why should we be concerned? Why should we be worried about that? Why should we know what they are? I know there's gravitation. If you jump out the window, we, we can illustrate the law of gravitation, but we don't intend to do that. So normally we are not really concerned about the laws of nature. But there is something here about the laws that come forth in nature, in the universe, which appear as laws of a field. Now, according to the most recent theories and discoveries in the field of quantum physics, quantum cosmology, nature, the universe, is not something mechanical and passive. It's something dynamic and something highly connected. Now, when things around us are connected intensely, so at one thing, when you touch one thing, all the others are touched, are felt. When this happens, then you talk about a field. A field connects that. There are all kinds of fields. There are electromagnetic fields, there are gravitational fields, there are quantum fields. And there are fields that we didn't really think existed. And it turns out that they do exist. And they are field, they are laws of a field which you can identify as the Akashic field. Why? Because the Indian, the Hindu seers, 3,000 years ago, talked about the dimension that in encompasses all the other dimensions, but is deeper than them. Something which is the womb of all other things. And when we talk about the laws, these immutable laws of the field, we can talk about Akashic field because the Akashic field is beyond all the other fields. That's the primal, the original field. That's the source of all fields. Now, these laws of the Akashic field are the laws of the universe, of the origin, of the source of the universe. Now, what are they? Well, you have to read the book to find out. But let me tell you a couple of things about them. If these laws make for a universe made for a reality around us, of which we are a part, a reality of connection, interconnection, such intense, intrinsic interconnection that all the things in it uh, act as one. There is a true oneness in the quantum universe, in the quantum field, the grand unified field, as it's also known in science, or the zero point field. Because even at the zero point of energy, there is something, there is information, there are things happening, there are laws operative. So these laws decide, determine how we can act in the world. What is our environment? It's not a passive backdrop. It's something of which we are a part and which is a part of us. Now, this connection is one element, but there are other elements more surprising than ever before than we would have thought ever before. And another surprising element is that everything that happens, everything that took place at any time, in any way, doesn't disappear. It's all there somehow, someplace, and it's all retrievable because the universe, this Akashic field universe, is a giant memory field. It's an energy field with memory. It's far from being a material field in which little billiard ball type of little particles just move around according to mechanical laws. This is a self-evolving, highly complete, highly unified field in which all things happen together, in which all things are remembered. The field has memory. Such laws of the Akashic field also make for what we call, in the single word, you call it with evolution. That's the term. Is the term means that things change. They don't remain the way they were. They change and they change according to certain laws. And these laws make for a directional change. The universe tends toward a direction, tends toward a condition, a state. And one of the key elements of that state of which is tense is surprising perhaps, but this is what comes through in science today. It tends toward coherence. Coherence in this respect means that every part 
of uh, that field, of everything that appears in the field, is connected in such a way that what happens to any one part happens to another part. That's coherence. Now, this coherent, connected field evolves, has memory, and it evolves. It evolves toward a condition where the things are more and more tightly, closely, and also more generously connected. In a way, more and more possibilities are here. It's like a giant computer network in which the more information you give, the more opportunities you have. There are programs to have information, to have interaction. This is a giant information field evolving toward higher and higher levels of coherence. Well, that's the gist of it. The practical implication is that if you know this, if you realize this, it's not imagination, it's quantum science. If you realize this, you start behaving differently. You don't act as though you were outside of others. There are no others. There are no true strangers. Everything that's alive is part of a web of life. Everything that exists is part of this quantum universe. And whatever you do remains somehow beholden and it remains active. It all works together. This sounds like metaphysics, and that's the basic essential aspect of it. But in practice, there are many, many implications. How do you act in a field like this? Not as a stranger, you act as something which is part of it. And when you act in tune with that field, with the way that field evolves, becomes more and more coherent, then you act in tune with it, then you're healthy, then you go what the young people would say, then you go with the force. That is the real implication. The immutable laws of the Akashic field are the laws of the quantum universe. We are all part of that universe. If you want to live well, if you want to live in a such a way that we benefit that system and allow the system to benefit us, then we act coherently. We act in tune with others around us with nature around us. I would say even with the universe around us. Then we are healthy, then we are strong. So find out more about these laws. It's worthwhile. This is reality. It sounds like fiction, but it's reality. And this reality that is, in some respect, stranger than fiction. But it's our world. It's your world. That live in it so that it's good for you, good for me, and good for the rest of the world. Well, thank you for your attention.